Hey folks, having a good day, I hope. Anyhow, today we're going to uh, split the molds, see if this uh, splicing of the tail worked. I have my doubts, but we'll see. Uh, the other thing is, is these molds were a bugger to split. Uh, I used to have a sequence of uh, which parts to take off first, because I think it's like a 14 part mold something like that and uh, everything was jamming up so uh, take a look and watch the struggle once I removed the uh, intake ducting part which you can see in the video uh, things started to go a little better the top was a little easier to get loose and uh, we started to move on more rapidly So in retrospect, thinking uh, about the weather change, it's now uh, in the fall in the desert, it's getting cold at night, the shop is about 20-30 degrees cooler during the day, definitely cooler over the evening. So I think what it was was the uh, splooge that I glued the top and bottom, left and right uh, parts together with, especially the top and bottom in this case, I think it hadn't fully cured and I had not compensated for the cold weather in the timing so that's causing it to be a little little sticky with all the flashing that flows in between the mold halves but a little brute force gets it every time so uh, finally the mold parts have come off and we can now look at uh, cleaning this thing up So now I'm inspecting the uh, final part for uh, blemishes and uh, look at the flashing state. Everything seems to look really good. There's a couple of very, very minor voids, uh, but you know, with this complexity of curvature and stuff, I always get the odd one. So I'm not concerned about that. A little filler goes a long way in sending it. So before moving ahead and uh, checking out the tail, I'm going to uh, cut back some of this flashing. Uh, if I don't, I'm guaranteed to get a lot of pretty deep cuts in my hands because this stuff can be hard and like razor blades. So I'll just quickly clean up uh, the fuselage and then we'll take a look at the tail and see if our splice works. This is the bottom of the uh, fuselage right now. There's the joint and uh, a couple of minor imperfections on the uh, left and right side, uh, about probably one millimeter disjoint between the uh, two parts. I'm actually very pleased with it. There's a little bit underneath the plane, but as far as uh, the top, the sides, it's almost perfect. Send it down, I don't think I'm gonna need uh, barely any filler whatsoever. Well, I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you uh, are enjoying them, I'd really appreciate if you would uh, subscribe, uh, check out the uh, description for the links, and please try and watch most of the videos. Uh, I know a lot of you don't, you just skip ahead and so forth. That kind of hurts the uh, channel. So anyhow, thanks a lot. Come back. The next one is really good. By the way, in the uh, previous video, which was the layup, uh, I was hoping some of you would comment on uh, something that I did, which nobody has picked up on. It's in the molds around the root area. So go back, check it out and see if you can find it and comment and let me know.